15 main types of dinosaurs, part 2. Dino birds. During the Mesozoic era, there wasn't just one missing link that connected dinosaurs and birds, but dozens of them, small, feathered theropods that possessed a tantalizing mixture of dinosaur-like and bird-like features. Exquisitely preserved feathered dinosaurs like Sonornithosaurus and Cenosauropteryx have recently been unearthed in China, prompting paleontologists to revise their opinions about bird evolution. Hadrosaurs Duck-billed dinosaurs Among the last dinosaurs to roam the Earth, hadrosaurs were large, oddly shaped. Lose lung plant eaters with tough beaks on their snouts for shredding vegetation and sometimes distinctive head crests. Most hadrosaurs are believed to have lived in herds, and some genera were especially good parents to their hatchlings and juveniles. Ornithomimids Bird mimic dinosaurs. Ornithomimids didn't resemble flying birds, but land bound, wingless retites like modern ostriches and amis. These two-legged dinosaurs were the speed demons of the Cretaceous period. Some genera, like Dromchaeomimus, may have been capable of hitting top velocities of 50 miles per hour. Oddly, ornithomimids were among the few theropods to have omnivorous diets, feasting on meat and vegetation with equal gusto. Ornithopods Ornithopods, small to medium-sized, Mostly bipedal herbivores, were among the most common dinosaurs of the Mesozoic era, roaming the plains and woodlands in vast herds. By an accident of history, ornithopods like Iguanodon and Mantellisaurus were among the first dinosaurs ever to be excavated, reconstructed and named, putting this dinosaur family at the center of innumerable disputes. Pachycephalosaurs Boneheaded Dinosaurs 20 million years before the dinosaurs went extinct, a strange new breed evolved, small to medium-sized, two-legged herbivores possessing unusually thick skulls. It's believed that Pachycephalosaurs like Stegoceras and Colipiocephal used their thick noggins to battle each other for dominance in the herd, although it's possible their thick skulls also came in handy for butting away curious predators.